Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football, where I use my over 20 plus years of coaching experience and break down games for you so you can see how people uh, play the old football. Maybe you can get some better ideas for yourself playing the game and not make the mistakes some of these pros do, because a lot of them are basic mistakes. Uh, or maybe you just want to be a coach and learn some uh, coaching techniques and do some actual things so you can actually put some things right in your Sunday pub team. Maybe you're playing higher in a bit of senior football. Or maybe you just want to chat down the pub and point out basic things to look like a god. So here we are. We're watching um, Liverpool versus Aston Villa. And uh, Villa, in my opinion, Villa is supposed to be quite good. They weren't in this game. They did lose 3-0. But let's have a little look and see what goes on. Right, so um, quite frankly... They're actually defending all right. I mean, that's a bundle there. That's a bit of a fight. Um, here, I am going to say it. You have to have a player defending here. Always, always, always have a player defending here. Or if you're an attacker, always hang around here. Like, he's kind of hanging around, which is okay. Which uh, I'd like you a little bit closer, though. Uh, it's very important, because nine times out of ten, this is where the ball bounces. So let's have a little look and see what happens as we move this forward. Ball comes in. There's a bit of a fight, and it just bounces completely free in the area. Completely and utterly free in the area. Oh, I didn't even know this guy was the one that scored it. This is why you have a guy there coming in or defending it. It's because this area here, you score goals. This is where you defend balls or you score goals is in this area. And you just kind of stand in there. You don't really want to get involved. You just want to see where the ball bounces. So after the, like the first initial impact from the corner, you know, the header, and sometimes it's on the second ball. It's on the third one normally when the bounce comes to here. This time it's on the first. It just bounces all the way through. This wee man comes in, strikes the ball cleanly. Doesn't really hit it hard. He just forces it into the goal. There we go. 1-0 from uh, this Slobbers. I can't say his name. I think it's Slobbersai. Uh, if it's not, that's what I'm going to call him, Slobbersai. Uh, let's get on to the next goal. Oh, before we get on to the next goal, let's point out the mistake. There's no one that, defensively that was standing in that area there, like I pointed out. That's where they needed to be. Didn't do it. Everything else is kind of a melee. They're all defending great, but they missed the one vital point, and then they were 1-0 down. Let's get on to the next goal. Okay, I've seen this more and more in the Premier League. In, in my opinion, like I keep saying, 99% of coaches in the English Premier League, and uh, well, English coaches especially, can't coach football. Right, so... This is the problem. This is why I'm why I say that. You can only play a high line is if you have pressure on the ball. If you do not have pressure on the ball, they can just dink the ball over the top and beat you for pace. Why? Well, as a defender, you are facing one direction, which is this way. Their strikers are facing one way, which is this way. And that's where they're looking at running behind. So or any ball in, they've already got a half a yard on you. And if you're a guy like Mo Salah, you're pretty quick at the old... So you can... You know, if you're given that space, you're going to beat him every time. So you have to keep pressure on the ball to allow yourself to play this high line. Let's see what happens. Bumph, bumph. There's no pressure on the ball. There's two guys here playing a 1-2, and nobody is challenging for the ball. Do you see that? They're all stood there and jockeying. Now, if you've ever played the game in... Um uh, 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 Man City do it all the time. Man City, uh, when, if you ever coach for Man City, they do training sessions called rondos, and they start every session with them, or keep away, right? But you have to pressure the ball. If you don't, it ends up like this scenario where this guy's not doing anything, right? So all of a sudden, he's played the ball there. Boom, still no pressure on the ball. They're all just still standing there jockeying. Look, none of them is really moving. Boom, still none of them is really moving. Everybody on the Liverpool team knows what's going on because they obviously play this system they know with the high line what they're looking to do none of these midfielders like this guy's actually kind of pointing like why aren't you going to the ball yeah no, no. Like, he's, he's telling his mate why aren't you going to the ball bosh and he plays it let's play that because that center midfielder gets it this center midfielder gets it he notices that the mistake is these two clowns because he's not supposed to go it's these two right they're supposed to put the pressure on this ball here and make him go here and make him go there he's realizing it they're all stood there they're all still stood there he's like, get on the ball <laughs> no mate we're not we're having a picnic he's got all the time in the world this guy plays the ball over the top and off we go to the races. Now, at this point, as a defender, you're kind of screwed because you're running back towards your own goal. What are you supposed to do? You, oof, you can't really challenge somebody like Mo Salah. He's going to go down. So you're trying to hope for the best. You're getting there. Look at the difference, right? How quick these two players are similar. Nobody else is. Uh, whoever this guy is at, uh, here, he's done well. But these three here are left for dead, pretty much. Ball comes across. 
and it goes into the goal. Now, there's a guy, Matty Cash, who's the best player in the Premier League, because obviously my name's Cash, his name is Cash, so Cash is Cash. He's the best player in the world. Unfortunately, he scores an own goal. We won't talk about that. Matty Cash, it was not your fault. Great name, not your fault. It's everybody else's in the world. Everybody's. But there we go. Just from that simple thing that those two centre midfielders didn't put the right pressure on, and that's what ends up happening. Let's check out the next goal. I'm not going to add this as a goal, but this is a coaching point that I want to make, okay? So I want to show you this defender because he's he's awful. Right, here he is. He's come for the ball here. Now his play is to play it to the goalkeeper. That's his only play, right? Let's see what he does because there's nothing else going on. He's got to play it the way. He's running that way, so he can't do anything but play it that way. He tries to turn on the ball. Immediately tries to turn on the ball. Makes a complete mess of it instead of just playing it to his goalkeeper. That's why he's not world class. If he just plays it there, kills the danger, everyone goes doesn't do it, doesn't understand that, there's trouble, and that's what ends up happening. Uh, actually, no goal happens, but I just want to show you about that bad play. That's awful, awful. Because the problem is, next time you make that mistake, they score. And then you constantly make these bad habits, and when you start, one little um, habit can cost you your whole career, because you keep making the same mistake over and over again. It becomes a habit, and that's a habit for him, and that's why I'm just pointing it out. I'm getting onto this last goal. Okay, here we go. We're coming on the last goal right here. As we're watching the ball fly in here, um, I've got a problem. I'm going to call it out straight away. And unfortunately, I know where the goal goes because I've just watched and I don't normally do that. But there's no people on the post. There has to be, like, honestly, back post, have a person here. Remember, he's coming to clear the ball away. He's not here hugging the post like he's on the Sunday League team. He's standing here so when the ball's played, he gets to kick it away this way and there's no danger. He knows there's nothing behind him so he doesn't have to worry about that. He stands there and watches for something to happen and then just kicks the ball away down the field because, well, he's facing down the field. Every other defender is facing which way? Towards this. This guy on the post would be facing this way. And would you have two? Nah, probably not. I'd have one on the back post. So I'll have my keeper protecting the front post in the, in the middle area and one on the back post ready just to kick the ball away at anything because he's facing down the field. Let's watch what happens here. Bosch goes on. If there was a man on the back post, he would get to that ball first. He'd clear it instead of this other wee chap kicking the ball into the back of the net box. Yeah, I'll put that in the uh, should have been on the post column. So because I'm going to collaborate those to put them all together for the end of the season so you can see them all. Uh, and I'll see you next time on Cash Does the Football.